Do you have a brushless DC fan that doesn't powerful enough? On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make your fan run faster and more powerful. To make a powerful 12 volt DC fan, first you will need a 12 volt DC fan itself and this motor is from CD player or you can buy it instead of pulling out from the CD player and that's it. First thing you will need to remove the sticker on the fan and maybe this is a rubber you can remove it with knife or something and be careful when using a knife and there is a lock on here let me just remove it on this one there you go here is the lock itself after you remove the lock then remove the propeller from the fan after you remove the uh, blade itself then you need to remove this rod into like this I'm not gonna using this fan for this project instead of this one I'm gonna using this one because this one is already broken so after you rem remove the rod on the blade you can just remove the magnet on this blade you can use any tool if you can or just use some heat you can use heat gun to hit the plastic a little bit to make it easier to remove the magnet so here is the magnet already removed from this blade if you don't have a CD holder like this you can just add a glue on this hole and place the motor inside of it and I recommend you to not use uh, hot glue instead of hot glue you just need to use epoxy glue because the RPM will gonna be higher than before so I think hot glue will not strong enough to hold in this blade uh, if you have a uh, same diameter of this uh, whatever is it you can just put it on the fan blade and make sure it's balanced or it will be vibrating it's not balanced yet I need to push it a little bit after you find the balance point on this blade and if you are using a CD holder like me you just need to glue it with hot glue on this CD holder and the blade itself so let me glue it together if you are giving glue on this blade make sure the glue weight on each side is balanced otherwise it will vibrating like this one It's quite powerful and it's vibrating but I don't care if this one is vibrating. So what's next is removing this uh, whatever, just remove it, make some calculation. Uh, so I think I need to make a hole on this side. Okay, I just finished uh, making hole for this motor. It's not perfect, but it's okay, and it's perfectly fit on this motor. And next step is I'm gonna glue this motor on this case. So I'm gonna using. Uh, 
hot glue again uh, but I'm not recommend it to use hot glue because the motor will gonna be heating up and will melt this glue so instead of hot glue you can just use a uh, epoxy glue or anything else that can handle a uh, heat this is just for education purpose and I'm gonna using this hot glue instead after you finish just install the fan blade into the motor now you can test the fan If you are applying a uh, backward current, uh, the fan will be rotating backwards too.